Hey, it's Nash Rock Steve here, and wow, look at this. We got winter a little bit early here. It's mid-October, and we've got snow on the ground and a lot more to come. So you can tell I'm not ready for it because this boat, which is a new one to us, um, we got the fabric cover on it, and there's already snow on it. I brushed off oh, like about a couple inches of it already. So that's not good. So the project at hand right now with uh, urgency on my part is getting a cover on this boat so we can be ready for winter storage. Um, as in previous boats in the past, I'm going to be showing how to install a TransShield boat cover. Um, I've used these now probably, man, probably six years prior to this one. Uh, one was installed professionally. I installed one on, on our old boat by myself, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this one by myself here. So first thing I'm going to do is get in the boat, uh, get the cover off, and take some measurements for the structure that's going to be built underneath. Okay, so here I am in the boat. Um, I'm going to take a couple measurements here that will be critical for the structure. Like I said before, so one is the front to back. I'm going to have two supports vertically, one near the back seat and one kind of between the two bow seats up here. So it looks like I can do eight feet. That gets right to about where my toes are and one right neatly uh, just before the seat back there. So I can go eight feet for the length of the beam that's going to support the cover. And then I need to know how wide I can make my supports. Uh, those can be made out of two by fours. So uh, we're going to go about here where we have this sitting. And we can go comfortably 14 inches wide. 14 inches with that one. And back here we don't have really much of a restriction on the width. So I'm going to go ahead and make it 20, 24 inches wide. That would be nice and um, stable so it won't want to tip over. Now we'll take those measurements into the shop and put together the support system. Okay, the next part of the project is taking the me measurements that I took on the boat and building them into some support stanchions here. So what I have in front of me, I kind of cut this ahead of time. I've got the base for the back support, the base for the front support, and then I made some 45 degree um, braces that'll sit like this, holding the vertical in place. Another set for the larger one. And then the support verticals. Um, in previous boats that have been a little smaller than this one, I went with four feet. This boat, when I held up the tape measure at four feet, it looked a little too low. Like the cover wouldn't be quite high enough to get good angles to shed the snow. So I went with five feet supports for the verticals. So these are going to sit, you know, right here. I marked the center of this board, so it's going to sit right there with a 45 on either side, screwing that in place. And then just something to make note of with these 45s because they're so thin right here, I pre-drilled all the holes here, so I shouldn't have any splitting as you go through. So I'll go ahead next um, and put these verticals together, and then we can uh, look at making some um, cushioning for the ends of it so it's not going to be hard on the cover when you get some pressure on there. Okay, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and put some cushioning on these so we uh, make a nice uh, soft area for that cover to bear on when it's got snow on it and there's some pressure there when we snug it tight, we're going to want to make sure it's not pushing on a sharp corner. So what I'm going to do is, uh, part of the job will be done now, part will be done in the boat as we install this, this support, but uh, this is what the beam is going to look like when I get it installed. This is the you know front vertical here, I'm going to line it up and make a nice flush surface here and here as well. 
And then uh, I've got some towels that I'm using here just to give the red cushioning. What I'm going to do, it's folded in half now, but I'm going to unfold it like this and I'm going to staple in a couple times into here and then uh, when it comes time to install it in the boat I can flap it over top of the beam because that, that'll be installed once it's in the boat and then double it back on itself and just secure it with a couple of screws maybe on either side to keep it in place um, and then that'll give a nice soft area for that cover to push against so that's what we're going to do now we'll just use a pneumatic nail or stapler and staple that in. All right, as you can see, we got the structure in place for the cover um, and the cushioning on both ends. The next thing we're gonna do is put some additional support kind of up and over this beam, just to give a little more support to the cover. So what I did, um, I was able to get this on Amazon. It's like a, a band of nylon strapping, one inch nylon strapping, and then a whole bunch of these uh, buckles, clips that uh, you can use to you know, make it nice and tight. I'm gonna use that. In years past, I've used rope, and that didn't really hold up very well. The snow on it kind of made it stretch over the course of the winter, and it wasn't really sturdy. So I think the nylon strapping is really gonna help. We can get it nice and tight, and then buckle it. Um, we should be good to go for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose from different locations. Um, I have a spot here I can use where there's a little tie for the bimini top there, and then where I can get on to perhaps um, a handrail here, or even using a pop out a cleat like this, I can use spots like that too to do this. So I'm going to pick a few places and run strapping over it and get it nice and tight. All right, all the strapping is secure on here. I'm going to run a couple to the front cleats there, one across the middle, and then I've got three coming back, one to each cleat in the back, and then one to the toe point as well. Now we'll move on and unpackage the trans shield cover. All right, here's the trans shield cover. Um, that I purchased online. You can get these on Amazon or from the website directly, I believe. Like I said before, I've been using Trans Shield for a number of years, uh, mostly due to the fact that they're high quality enough that you can reuse them for multiple years. The first one I mentioned earlier, I had installed professionally and it was heat shrunk and it was still reusable for at least three years. Uh, the second one I purchased and uh, was able to put that one on without heat shrinking it and still reuse it, no problem. So um, what I like about it is it's got this perimeter rope that goes all the way across, across the boat. So when you snug it up tight, you get a good fit there. And then it's got uh, ropes that go underneath the belly of the boat as well, like this at all the tie downs. So you can secure it nice and snug underneath the boat, and keep it firm that way. And then the inside of this fabric as well, it's not, the outside is this nice um, shiny plastic that propels water and snow. Inside it's, it's got a softer material in there that protect the hull of your boat as well. Um, when you cinch it down. So um, the next thing we do with this is unroll it from the front to the back and then just get it pulled out across the boat. It's best to have two people doing this so I'm going to go ahead and get this started right now. So before you unroll your cover completely one thing you want to check is that the drawstrings for that perimeter rope make sure they are in the back of the boat. Um, that way you only have to unroll it once. So as long as those are in the back you can unroll it the proper way and um, start installing the cover. Okay, now that the cover is on the boat, uh, the next thing we do is tighten up this perimeter rope. You wanna make sure when you have it, when you look at it back here, that the rope is crossed so you're not pulling against the, the material of the cover. So we'll just start tightening this thing bit by bit, going around and getting the slack out of it. It helps when you do this. It give you a lot of extra rope. If you go down to 
maybe an eyelet on your trailer or something on your boat where you can pull against it and do that to really get some good pressure on it. But we'll go ahead and start doing that around the perimeter of the boat, getting it as tight as we can to get a nice fit against the hull. Okay, so I got one side tied off down there. We're gonna do this other side. We've got it nice and tight by pulling through that eyelet there. What I do now is make a small loop in the rope upstream of that eyelet that I'm going through. Put the gloves on. And then you take your end of your rope, run it through there, and you get a lot of force to pull on to make this cover nice and tight. Once you're satisfied with it, you can tie it off however you choose. I prefer to go through here to give it another place to pull against and go ahead and tie it off against these ropes here. Just like that. Okay, now we'll take these um, ropes that go underneath the keel of the boat. We'll just take them off out of the rubber band. They come pre-tied onto the cover, which is nice. And we'll just throw these underneath so we can tie it up to the other side over there. Let's go ahead and detach all these and toss them under. All right, we tossed those strings underneath and retrieved them on this side. Make sure when you bring them underneath, you go against the hull of the boat so you're getting pull against, across that keel and in the right angle here. If you go down to the trailer, you're not gonna be pulling it at quite the right angle. Get those underneath and then we'll do the same method before where you tie a loop um, in, the, in the rope upstream and then run through it like this. Get a good pull on it like that and then tie it off however you like. Let's tie it right against itself here. Nice, tight knot to hold that in place. All right, so here's the final product. We got the boat all wrapped up now for the winter. Got the strings all nice and tight. So the angles look good. It should shed snow and rain all winter really nicely. Um, for this boat, it's a 20 foot boat. So I used a 19 to 21 foot cover, which fit perfectly. Um, if you have any questions on the size you need, you can contact the company and they can give you a recommendation. Um, but I think that's it for this project. We're gonna put the boat away for the winter now and um, take it out next spring. Thanks for watching, I hope this video is helpful.